Distributed loads aren't just equations in a textbook. They're forces engineers have to design for every day. Let's look at two real examples. First, the Hoover Dam. Water doesn't push at one single point. Pressure increases with depth, creating a triangular distributed load across the entire surface. Our simulation shows that force pressing hardest at the base, which is why the dam is built thicker at the bottom to resist that massive load. Now let's switch to the skies. An airplane wing isn't lifted by a single force. Lift is spread out across the span, with more near the root and less near the tip. In our simulation, we model the wing as a cantilever beam. From that, we can calculate shear forces, bending moments, and deflection. This ensures the wing is light enough to fly, but strong enough not to fail mid-air. Distributed loads matter because they reveal the real stresses structures face. Get them wrong and things collapse. Get them right and we build safe, lasting designs. Want to see more real engineering in action? Subscribe and follow along. We tackle new concepts and examples every single week.